Hello, this video is over shape of data. So let's look at our number routine. Our number routine says fix the mistake. There are mistakes on here. Before I fix it up, I like to label my box plot. So I'm going to label this as, whoops, I, sh I guess I should use a pen. So I'm going to label this as, um, let's use red. This is the minimum. This is the maximum. This is the median. This is Q1, and this is Q3. So let's go through each one and see which one makes sense. Let's use a different pen color. Is the minimum 15? Check mark. They said the maximum is 55. Check mark. They said Q1 is 20. Check mark. Median is 25. Check mark. They said quartile 3 is 40. Check mark. So far, perfect. Again, in a box plot, each sec quartile is worth 25% of it. Think about it. the word quartile has quarter 25. So percentage of CDs between 15 to 40. So 15 starts right here to 40. That's 25, 25, 20. Three quartiles, three quarters, 75%. Check mark. Let's look at the range. It range from 15 to 55. Started from 15 to 55. They said it's 20. No, it's not. From 15 to 45, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, to 5, 40. That is wrong. IQR is the spread or range from Q1 to Q3. How far is it from Q1 to Q3? 5, 10, 15, 20. That's wrong, too. Oh, they made a mistake, aren't it? So now we have the box plot. All right, so let's look at this box plot. This is about the different... U.S. Vice President, the ages when they um, took office. So, again, minimum, maximum, whoa, it's almost 70 years old when they became Vice President. Median, Q1, Q3. The median is about, let's say, 53-ish. Q1 is about 49-ish. Q3, it's exactly 60. The maximum so far was 71. Whoa. Minimum, the least age was 36. IQR means go from here to here. How far is it from 49 to 60? That's about an 11-year difference between quartile 1 to quartile 3. What percent of U.S. vice president were at least 60 years old when they took office? So they were at least 60. Uh, 60 was like, so it's this quartile. One quartile, so that's 25%. What percent of U.S. vice president were between the ages of 49 and 60? From 49 and 60, from here to here to here, that's 49, to, whoops, whoops, stop. Let's do it again. 49 starts from here to here. That's two quartiles, two quarters, two quartiles, 50%. Now that we understand that, before we learn our lesson, we need to know these four words, symmetry, gap, peak, and cluster. Before we even look at the mathematical definition, let's see where have you seen these words before. Symmetry. They say that models or have symmetrical faces. That means if I draw a model, two, 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 and slice them in half, right there, the left side of their face looks like the right side. There's symmetry. Gap. Where have you seen a gap? A gap is like a opening, like a hole somewhere. Peak. Hmm. Maybe some of you may have seen a mountain peak. That's the highest part of it. Cluster. Cluster. Hmm. One of my favorite candy is called Payday. Payday has all these deliciousness of peanuts clustered together. So there's a grouping of peanuts together. And there's, I think they're, I forgot, it's like a caramel that holds it together. So let's go through each one and see which one makes more sense now. The number that have no data value has nothing in it. That's like a gap, a hole in it. Somebody's put that right there. The left side of the distribution looks like the right side. Oh, that's symmetry. The most frequently occurring value or mode. I'm not sure what that is, so I'm going to skip that for now. Data that are grouped closely together. 
if you're grouped closely as a cluster, so that means peak must be, oh, peak, like where all the information is located, so that would be the mode. So we're going to be doing a survey about the number of times you've been on a plane. So imagine someone said they've been on a plane for zero, zero, I don't know, three, four, five, five, seven, and ten. And I feel like we're missing. Let's do one. Let's see. Is this good? I think this. No. Let's um. Let's cho choose instead of one. Let's choose two. So these are the number of times people are playing. So we're going to create a histogram. Again, a histogram is like a bar graph, except the bottom has intervals of numbers. So our interval numbers will be by 0, 1, 2 to 3, 4 to 5, 6 to 7, 8 to 9, and 10 plus. So that one. All right, so that is our stuff. Um, and also a histogram, when you draw the bars, there are no gaps. They're all connected to each other. So these represent the number of students who said they've been on number of times they've been on a plane. So two students chose zero. So this is our first bar. How many students chose two to three? Two students chose two to three. That goes there. How many students chose four to five? Three students chose four to five. Six to seven. One person chose seven. Eight to nine, there is none. Ten is one. And that is our histogram. So we're going to describe each one now. So using the words gap, do you see a gap anywhere? Yes, there's a gap at opening at eight to nine. Symmetry. Does it look symmetrical to you? No. It is called asymmetrical. Asymmetrical means no, it's not. The left side does not look at the right side. Peak. Is there a peak somewhere? Yeah, the peak is from 4 to 5. That's where the highest point is. That's where most of the information, that's the mode. Is there a cluster of numbers, a grouping of numbers? Yes, from 0 to 7. All right, so now, using information, let's do a dot plot. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again, a dot plot is where you have a dot. So two children, students at 0. One student chose, I can't remember the numbers again, 0, 2, 3, okay. Someone chose 2, someone chose 3, someone chose 4, two students chose 5, someone chose 7, and someone chose 10. So using the words again, is there a gap? Yes, there's a gap at 1, there's a gap at 6, there's a gap at 8 and 9. Symmetrical. Is it symmetrical? No, the left side doesn't look at the right side, so it's called asymmetrical. What's the next word? Peak. Is there a peak here? Yeah, there's a peak at 5 and 0. That means those are the mode. That means a lot of children show 0 and 5. And the last thing, is there a cluster of numbers? Yeah, there's a grouping of numbers from 2 to 5. And our last thing is a box plot. So let's write down our numbers. We have 0, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 10. So the minimum is 0, the maximum is 10. What is the median here? The median would be, wait, I think I left off the number here, 0, 0, 2, 3, 4, 4, oh, 5, 5, 7, 10. So the median would be dot, 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 dot. The median would be 4. Quartile 1 would be between 0 and 2, which is 1. Quartile 2. 3 would be between 5 and 7, so that is 6. So let's make our thing. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So our minimum is 0. Our maximum is 10. Our median is 4. Our quartile 1 is 1. Our quartile 3 is 6. These are the tails. 
And this is our box plot. So today we're going to be learning a different word called skew to the left and skew to the right. Is this symmetrical, first of all? Does the left side look at the right side? No, it doesn't. It is more skewed to the right. That means, if you look at this, this side is longer on this side, so it's skewed to the right. So that is how to describe this box plot. Now that we understand that, we can answer questions about different types of graphical representation. This is a histogram. A, do you see a gap between 0 and 99? And no, there is something. Is this symmetrical? Yeah, it looks symmetrical. The left look like the right. Is there a peak on the right side? No, the peak is in the middle. Are there a cluster? Yes, there are no cl there are clusters from 0 to well, 699. B is the answer. Which statement is true about the books checked out at the library? There are no gaps and no outliers. That is definitely true. I don't see any gaps. Is the shape symmetrical? No, it leans more to the left side. Is there a cluster from 9 to 12? No, the cluster starts at 1 to 12. Is there a peak on the left side? No, the peak is in the middle, so it's F. Is this symmetrical? No, it leans more to the left side, so it can't be A or B. The data center around the third quartile. Think about it. If this was a box plot, they're saying that most of the information is down here. No, most of the information is in the front half, the first two quartiles, so no. Is it symmetrical? A, I'm oh, sorry, is it asymmetrical? It is asymmetrical, meaning not symmetrical. And last but not least, is this box plot symmetrical? No. It seems like it's more to the right-hand side. Oh, skew to the right side. And that is how we do describe shape of data distribution.